The oil filter is responsible for keeping the motor oil clean in your car's engine. If you have a clogged or bad oil filter, it can no longer perform its job, thereby leaving your engine at risk for failure. That's why it is important to understand the symptoms of a bad or clogged oil filter before problems begin. To help you prolong the life of your car engine, we review the bad oil filter warning signs. We also look at the role of the oil filter, examine its location and show you how much the replacement might cost. Let's begin with a quick look at the signs to look for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Trinix Auto Fix. Today on Trinix Auto Fix. The most common symptom of a bad or clogged oil filter is an oil pressure warning symbol on your dashboard. You may also notice more noise coming from the engine at idle or during acceleration. A stalling engine is also a sign, but if it happens it could be too late already. Here is a more detailed list of the most common symptoms of a bad or clogged oil filter. Contents show. 5 clogged or bad oil filter symptoms. 1. Oil pressure warning symbol on dashboard. Engine oil pressure light. Without oil pressure in your engine, it will not last many minutes. Therefore all car models have an oil pressure warning light which will show up on your dashboard if the oil pressure is too low and fatal for the engine. If you have noticed a red oil warning light on your dashboard it is definitely time to check it directly because if you keep driving the car it can result in very expensive repair costs of your engine and in most cases you have to replace the whole engine. If the warning light only appears sometimes it can also be a sign of low oil pressure caused by a bad or clogged oil filter. Related, 10 causes of why your oil pressure light is on. 2. Low oil pressure. Your vehicle might also have an oil pressure gauge that shows you the levels your engine is operating on. If you see that the oil pressure is lower than usual it is definitely time for concern. If the oil pressure begins to drop while you are driving, this is cause for alarm. Continuing to drive with low oil pressure can lead to complete engine failure. You should pull over and check the oil levels immediately. If there is enough oil in the system, the dirty filter could be causing a restriction or there could be a malfunction with the oil pump. Related, 4 symptoms of low oil pressure. 3. Noisy engine. When oil can't flow around the engine due to a clogged oil filter, the metal components begin to grind together due to an excessive amount of friction. This will result in a very noisy engine which can also result in metal-to-metal -metal noises from the engine. Allowing continued metal-to-metal -metal contact is going to create a lot of wear on the engine. Left unchecked, it will turn into engine damage, which is an expensive repair. 4. High oil pressure. A clogged oil filter can actually also cause high oil pressure if the oil pressure sensor is measuring the oil pressure before the oil filter. High oil pressure is far as bad as low oil pressure for the engine but it can still cause gaskets to leak oil for example. If you notice that there are external oil leaks coming from the engine of the oil filter it may be caused by a bad oil filter. Most car models will also show the oil pressure warning light when the oil pressure is too high also, so if that light is showing on your dashboard it can also be showing because of too high oil pressure. Related, high oil pressure causes and symptoms. 5. Stalling engine. Because low oil pressure is so fatal for the engine, many modern car models have a safety switch that will shut off the car engine if the oil pressure is too low while running. If your engine stalled and you see the oil pressure warning light when you start the engine again, it can definitely be a good idea to check the oil filter. Oil filter location. Remove oil filter. The oil filter location varies based on the type of vehicle you drive. Sometimes, you can only get to the oil filter from underneath the car. In this case, you might need to remove the splash shield or skid plate to access it. Other vehicles allow you to reach the oil filter from above the vehicle. If you aren't sure, it's best to check your owner's manual for a diagram. Additionally, oil filters come in several designs. Your vehicle might have a replaceable filter that fits in a plastic housing or it could be a screw-on canister made from metal. Please let us know if you are enjoying the video. By liking and subscribing to our channel. Catch you guys later bye for now.